<laughs> I don't think I'm ready to talk. It's so cold. My lips are like so dry. I can't even like speak properly right now. <laughs> My lips are moving like one mile per hour. <laughs> okay, good morning, Jasperi. Good morning, good morning. We created a sloped armor. Come closer. So I'm not gonna lie, I took this uh, idea from this other channel that came across my YouTube feed. It was this guy's uh, channel, Ryan Kong, if I'm not mistaken. They created an armored uh, plate, sloped armored triangle. It's supposed to represent uh, the same thing they do with tanks. They give them a slope so it increases the thickness of the armor. So they put that in the concept, but the, the sheet metal or the metal that they use was I think a lot thinner than this. This is a, a half an inch, um, either AR 400 or AR 500. I'm not remember. I don't remember uh, correctly. I can't talk. It's so cold. <laughs> anyway, the only downfall with this, it's heavy. Uh, this is something maybe an Iron Man would make in his uh, garage to get out of uh, some situation. So it's not something you can carry on for too long, but the concept of it was cool. And here's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm gonna start with the half an inch uh, on a different video. We're gonna do the half an inch steel and then uh, see what kind of results we'll get. Either we'll uh, bump it up uh, or uh, bring it back down to make it a little bit lighter to easier to carry. So it is, it is sort of, like I said, heavy, but you can kind of wear it. Let's see if... <laughs> <laughs> okay oh one of the things that uh, they couldn't do they made their video in California and they didn't have a 50 B actually it's not bad can I run around yeah okay it's not too bad you can actually kind of run around with it sloped armor uh, one of the things they weren't able to shoot it uh, with was a 50 BMG they think the only thing they had available was a 416 Barrett. So we'll give it a try with the 50 BMG. Listo? I'm ready. Okay, let me put this back down. We put a propane tank. In case it goes through, we'll go out with the bang. Uh, okay, before we get started, I want to thank our two biggest sponsors of the day, SDI and Shields. If you ever wanted to get your career started in gunsmithing, you want to work for one of the gun manufacturers, or let's just say you want to know how to operate on your own guns at home and boost your knowledge, sdi.edu is a great place to get started. They have all the tools and resources to get started. There will be a link in the description for you. Our other sponsor of today is Shields. Shields is your number one retail store for all your outdoor needs. They also have an online store available. I get all my ammo from them recently and they also have anything to do with the hunting, shooting, fishing, skiing. And by now you guys have seen the tour that we, uh, we took over there and they have all kinds of stuff. And uh, if you, there's something you need, shields.com a place to go. And they also have 30 different locations throughout the United States. I will put a link in the description for them also. We really appreciate Shields and SDI.edu for sponsoring today's video. And let's get to shooting. We're gonna just do all rifle rounds, not to waste time, because that thing is pretty thick. Uh, pistols are not gonna make it through. And AK is the first one. I think this is one of the smallest ones I have. And then 5.56 also. Ready, us ready? I'm ready. I'm also shooting it right at center position, so it should uh, ricochet that way. So that didn't make it through. Let me dump these ones in this lake. Guess what? Come here. Remember, I told you guys uh, that lake we were riding our bicycles? It's a full lake, <laughs> frozen too, right now. Watch this. Ice. I wait. That was fun. I should dump some more rounds in there. <laughs> okay, let's go check the armor. That's about like uh, two, three millimeters deep. Hmm. But as you can see, they all ricochet to the left. AK-47 didn't make it. Okay, next round. Okay, next, I got a really cool one. I've never shot this on this channel. It's, um, the, it's the SL-81. These were imported from Germany. It's a HK. Oh, the SK is over there. In like 80s and 90s, it's pretty much a G36, but stripped down version of it. They had to modify this just to get it imported in the United States. But uh, shoots uh, the 5.56. Five, I'm gonna do the 2 to 3 green tip steel core, so these are the better penetrator ones. 
Uh, let's play. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah, I've never shot this. They're super rare, actually, and uh, expensive. And we'll shoot it super smooth. I love all HK products. Okay, listo? I'm ready. I never saw it. Hopefully, I don't hit the tank. Okay, good aim. Clear on this. Bang, bang, bang. It almost did the same thing as AK-47, no penetration. Okay, next round. I'm gonna use the Henry 4570. It's a little modded. All the furniture came from Ranger Point Precision, so they hooked that up. My mouth is so dry, I can't pronounce the words correctly. <laughs> so here it is, just for you. check out this beauty. All the ammo from Underwood Ammo. We're gonna do the extreme either hunter or extreme penetrators. I think these are the extreme penetrators. And thanks again to Henry for sending the 4570 primary arms optics. And we're gonna take a couple shots at that uh, plate and then see what happens. That's very ready? I'm ready. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay. Right. I'm ready. Okay, fire on. You notice we're not that far, but nothing is ricocheting back because of that slope position. Okay, check out this beautiful one. Nice, right, Josh? Buddy? Nice. Okay. It splashed a little bit to the right. I thought I was sitting on the left, <laughs> but anyway, there's the. Uh, that's a deep crater compared to the other ones. Josh, buddy, give me a zoom in on those. Yeah, I got, I got it. But let me give you one more. Oh my God, it's so cold. You see the snow in the mountains? We barely got a little break. This area kind of melted. It was all snow. Okay, now I'm going to go to SCAR 17 and uh, shoots the 308. Okay, just ready? Okay, okay, okay. 762 by 51. Uh, dun, 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 I'm ready. Uh, okay. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Let's call it to the right so this thing you can show you that way. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Oh yeah, they're going to the right. I can see them. <laughs> Nothing is going through. Let's go shoot some in the lake real quick. So we're back at my grandpa's lake again. Let's shoot on the, it's off. This area is frozen. That back area is not. Watch the other back area. That area is not frozen, but this area is frozen here. That's better. You pointing here? Yes. <laughs> I. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> Okay, let's go check the armor plate. Uh, splinters on the wood. And there's your hole. They are all going to the right. Splashing to the right side as you, uh, what the armor is supposed to do. The front. Okay, next time. We'll do the dragon off. Okay, show the gun. Oh. My grandpa's dragon off from Romania. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> Um, okay. okay, let's see. Why is the stocks also so short? I'm not using the scope, I'm using the iron sights. FYI. That's why my head is a little lower. Okay, nice shots. We'll dump the rest in the leg. <laughs> oh, that was satisfying. Okay, let's go. Check it out. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, ma'am. Nothing went through. Okay. I'm going to do uh, 308 and then we'll jump to 50 BMG. What do you think? 50 BMG is not going to go through, what? 308 or 338? Uh, 338 Lapua. Let's oh. go. Next is going to be the Accuracy International AWM. Shoots the 308. These bad boys right over there. 
That's pretty ready. Wait, is that 308? Uh, 338. What did I say? 308. Oh, sorry. 338 Lafua. <laughs> and I'm using a Night Force scope on this. Woo! Okay. You shoot the left side or the right I'm side? I'm gonna go right side. Find a hole. <laughs> you like how we're so close that they're all going to the right? That's the beauty of a sloped armor. Everything gets ricocheted to the side. I oh, this is semi-automatic. I gotta, I gotta load one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Clear on this. Where was it here? Yeah. Wow. Not even every single one we've shot so far hasn't even gone through halfway of the steel. Okay. We might shoot this straight on now. You're gonna have to push this back with the 50 BMG. So 338 Lapua is not doing it either. Okay. We're using a Serbu BFG 50A. Give me a nice shot of this bad boy. And I'm doing an armor piercing incendiary, silver tip. And we're gonna hit it, see if it'll penetrate. What's your thought? Is it gonna penetrate or not? Uh, hey, probably, uh... Yeah. Probably not. Okay. okay. This is my protection. It's 50-50. <laughs> Ready? Let me let me put place my okay. Wait. Oh. Let me check what is the target. Okay. Target. Uh, 50 yards. Perfect. Okay. I got it. Okay. Listo. I'm ready. Oh, there's a military helicopter flying by. Hopefully it doesn't ricochet and hit them. You see it? Yeah. <laughs> zoom in on it. It's better wait. Give a zoom in on it. Stand by. You find it? Finally, yes. Like I said, uh, we are at the uh, military base, my grandpa's testing facility. We have to wait till they clear. I'm ready. Is it zoomed out? Yeah. Is it recording? Yes. Okay, they're out of my sight. Uh, wait five more seconds. <clears throat> I'm going on the on the on the left. On the le okay. <laughs> Did it ricochet? Yeah, look, yeah. it's black, it's tilted. Yeah. Let's go check. There it is. <laughs> That's the most damage we've gone so far and it hit the table right on the bottom. Bam, it did not go through. I'm gonna take one more shot and put something here on the side, see what happens to it, okay? I'll be right back. That's why you ready? Uh, ready? I'm ready! Final. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the bottle of water. <laughs> Clear. <sighs> I should have put something to catch it, right? Went here, same results. Splash to the left. To the left? Yeah, to the left and nothing happened. And now, we're gonna change the position to be not angled anymore. We're gonna go, not slope. We're gonna go dead on like that. Da -da -da. Right there. Let's see if that makes a difference. What do you think, Jasper? Ah, uh, probably go through. Yes. You think so? Probably yes. Just for decoration, let's hit it dead on. Let's go. Protection. <sighs> I'm tired. Ready, everyone? I'm ready. Final.
<laughs> and see, that's what happens. Big Sloped difference. armor versus uh, direct hit. No way, it went through it? Yes. And inside the uh, propane. So, will this armor, sloped armor, work against 50 BMG? Absolutely, if it's in a angled position. If you're walking out like this, I hit it right over here, went in, came out, just really give me a zoom in on that. Nice crispy zoom. And went inside this uh, propane. Ay, wait. Oh, I made it out from the other side too. Or, yeah, I did. Entry. There's the exit. Oh, so nice and warm. <laughs> Got wrong. Oh. oh, my gloves. They're all hot. You see that? Yes. Entry and exit. It's leaking from that side. Hold on this side. What a huge difference. Okay, that's it, the video. Should I shoot it one more time? I'm curious with the three, uh, 338 Lapua. I'm just, I want to see what happens if I hit it straight on. No propane, we'll just put it up uh, real quick. Ready? I'm ready. That's where it comes down. Okay, you're, you're good over there. Fire in the hole. Did you hear oh the ricochet? Oh my god. What did I tell you? If it doesn't go through, it comes back. And definitely don't go through. And definitely don't go through because Because we heard it. I hear the ricochet <laughs> next to my right ear. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on, and one day we die, right? Yeah, one day. Okay. Well, anyway, you're gonna die one uh, day. Yeah, no yeah, one day. Well, yeah, you're right. You might as well go with the bang. <laughs> Huh? Went through. Wait, wait, that. wait. Oh yeah. Oh, that the, the jacket maybe is up. No, it was the ricochet. Then what was it? It went just forward. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What a big difference. Watch this. Now I want to shoot it with other rounds too, but maybe not. Look at the hole size. Okay. That's like an. Uh, what is that? Half an inch. Probably yes. Close to an inch. A lot happen. larger than the uh, 50 BMG, but look, this made a nice clear circle cut. Are you zoomed in on those ones? Yes. I'm gonna try not to put my finger in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. And on the 50 BMG, it's got these little petals, sharp uh, spikes like shark teeth sticking out. Wow, this armor did amazing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not bad. I want to kind of bring it, I want to uh, do the quarter inch steel instead of half an inch next time. Yeah, that's one inch hole on that 338 Lapua. Interesting. Wow. So, this armor, sloped armor, 100% work. Amazing results. And uh, thanks to Ryan Kong for the idea. And thank you to sti.edu and Shields for sponsoring today's video. We really appreciate them. Shields hooked us up with all the ammo and SDI hooked us up with all the knowledge we needed to create something like this and test our weapons. Make sure you check both of those places out. They've been both really good to us, SDI and Shields. That's it, right, Jasper? Anything yes. else I'm missing? No. no? And uh, also my good friends Rocky and uh, Rob for uh, welding this together. Let's not forget about them. And uh, who else? Just Patty for recording. And my grandpa for letting us borrow the lake. <laughs> That's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Adios, let's go.